Hey, it's Richard Christie. It may look like I'm standing in the middle of a traditional European beer garden, but I'm actually in Astoria, Queens, New York at the world famous Bohemian Hall. And I'm gonna talk with Angelo, one of the bar's managers, about my favorite subject in the world, craft beer. Welcome to Spirits and Hops. Cheers. Angelo, it's great to meet you. Nice to meet you, Richard. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure to have you. So, a Czech Slovak beer garden in the middle of Queens, New York. How did this come about? Back in 1910, uh, when uh, Czech and Slovaks uh, emigrated to the country, and they basically wanted a place to call home. They didn't want to forget the culture or the language. It took all the masons and plumbers who were experienced in, in their country, and they came here and basically built it. And this was and all, this was all farmland. It was, yeah, that's it was what all I've farmland heard, yeah. and uh, you know it was here before anything else was. So the neighborhood grew up around everything this place. grew up around the beer garden. It is the oldest beer garden in New York City. Uh, one of the few places that survived prohibition. Wow. So uh, you know it has a lot of history, a lot of great history that became home not just for Czech and Slovak uh, uh, people but also for Kansans and even, New Yorkers? Even that... Kansans, yes. 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 Especially Kansans. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> With Czech, our Czech and Slovak customers, it's always important to have a very good head on the beer. Because mm -hmm. that counts for a lot. Because it's kind of like, you're, you're getting an intro to what the beer, the that's flavor like profile. That's your appetizer. That's your appetizer. Craft beer and European beers are almost like wine. Like you can pair them with food. There's so many different tastes Absolutely, within yeah. the beers. Yeah. And that's what's so great about beer nowadays. Especially when you're, when you're uh, eating uh, Czech food, traditional Czech food. Like what you have like here. Like the schnitzel yeah. and the kielbasa. Uh, it, it's, it's a perfect pairing. Now when somebody comes in that may not be familiar with craft beer or European beers, how do they decide what they want to drink? The best thing that we, we try to do here is we let the bartender be your guide. And, and to have him or her familiarize you with the, the different varietals of, of beer. And that's what's you great know. about bars like this, is you can come in, you may not know anything about any of these beers, and once you leave, you've, you've learned a lot because you yeah. let them try and, yeah. and see what they like. We want to educate them, but we also want them to come back because they're going to get a great beer. Yeah, they're going to find something they like. Time and, and time again, they're going to find together. something that they like. And that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how you stay in business and you keep it simple. And what's great about this place, too, is it looks historic. You know, the outdoors looks historic, even the indoors here kind of reminds me of a school. All the profits from the restaurant and the bar go towards the Czech and Slovak school, which is a, a very important part of the whole place because mm -hmm. we want to keep the culture alive, we want to keep the language, and that is the reason why, you know, we do what we do. That's a great cause. It is a great cause. And when people drink beer here, they're doing a good deed. Well, Angelo, thank you so much. I learned a lot today. I'm sure everybody watching learned a lot, and I really appreciate it. And thank cheers you. to you. Cheers to you. And cheers to you. For Spirits and Hops, this is Richard Christie. <laughs>